Yesterday I mentioned how my phosphates were crazy high in my reef and I needed to bring them down. So today I'm going to go ahead and use some phosphate RX to do just that. Because I sell the things I use, I always have inventory on hand. So I went into the studio and picked out another bottle of phosphate RX. This store is so close to my place. <laughs> and the reef itself was measuring somewhere around 0.75 ppm phosphate. So my dose will be 125 drops into the reef and the protein skimmer will remove the cloud over a period of a matter of hours. Uh, I don't even bother with the filter sock half the time because the skimmer does the job adequately. But if you wanted to use a five or 10 micron filter sock with Phosphator X, you definitely can. My system volume is around 450 gallons of total liquid. So I would need more than what I'm dosing, but I intentionally don't dose full strength and I've never lost fish because of it. So I would encourage you to use less and test the next day. And if you still have phosphates at a level higher than you want, then you can dose it again. And that's usually my routine. My, for the most part, I dose once and I'm good. And then I don't do it again for six to eight weeks. Tomorrow I'll test again and see what the phosphate measures. And if it's above 0.25 ppm, I'll probably dose again. I didn't realize how high it had gotten because my test kit was old and got away from me and was giving me faulty numbers. But, uh, you know, I love how easy it is to knock phosphate down with Phosphate RX. My tank is cloudy for a few hours and then it's done. And there's no other work. There's no reactors or anything to deal with. So this is what I've been doing for over 10 years.